Sup folks, this is Jeff doing strong lifts 5x5 workout A. Um, that means that we'll be doing a squat, bench, and penley rows. This is day 11, week 4. Uh, the date is April 1st, 2015. It's a Wednesday morning right before work. Um, nice clear gym. I'm using a different squat rack just to get some better angles. I don't really have much to say about the workouts in general. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about goals. But I guess before I go into the goals, I'll talk about, I'll briefly discuss all three of the workouts, right? So today for the squat, I think what I'm going to start doing is just tightening up the form a little bit more. Um, after watching the footage today, I, I think, it, excuse me, it almost feels like I'm a little bit loose as far as the lower back and the core is concerned. So I really want to make that stiff. Um, it doesn't seem as tight, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I do want to have more of a pause at the bottom. I know, I know this. I notice that as the weights get heavier, I just want to get through it faster. So, I've got to slow it down. Slow it down on the drop. Pause at the bottom, and then slow to the raise. You just can't be lazy, and that's the first indicator of, it, of me being lazy. So, I've got to work on that. Uh, my arm placement. I know it's kind of weird. You know, I do a full grip, which I feel more comfortable with. The false grip is starting to hurt my wrists for some reason, so I'm, I'm, I've been doing the full grip now, and I've got to work on the placement for my elbows. Uh, my elbows, I don't know how I'm supposed to get this down, but for some reason, and I try to do a lower bar squat, but as I do that, my, my elbows hurt, and I feel like they're going to snap. So I want to avoid snap city, so I'm going to work on the elbow placement. As far as the bench is concerned, not too concerned just yet. Uh, I'm just templatizing the form and getting that getting that um, muscle memory set up correctly. Um, I probably won't start worrying about it until I hit 185. It still feels really light. It all feels like a warm up. Uh, today I did 145 on that. Oh, I did 200 on the on the squat today too. So that's 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 breaking the 200 barrier. So um, that's awesome. Um, oh yeah, also on the bench, I messed up. I didn't record the fourth or the fifth set. I, I can't remember which one I didn't record, but I thought I pressed the button and it didn't record. So just believe that I did the fifth set. I did five by five. I didn't do five, four, five or anything like that. The only time that I break the rules is when I do deadlifts. I do five sets of deadlifts instead of one. Um, yeah. Penley rows. Uh, the form doesn't seem too tight yet, so I'm still working on that. It's my second time doing it. So I really got to work on getting all the habits down, um, and I think my I think my stance I'm not very parallel with the floor, so I got to make sure that I am parallel with the floor. Um, now that I've got all the footage set up, I can start doing the form check videos, and I'll start compiling them all up this week, um, and then I'll look for feedback. I'll probably start posting it on forums and stuff like that, but we'll see. Okay, now for the goals. What are my goals for doing this whole workout and lifting in general, right, and fitness? Um, overall for this year, I want to hit 180, 180 pounds, and I want to be at 15% body fat. Now aggressively, I want to make it by June, because there's a certain event that I want to be ready for, for that. But if I do hit that this year, I'll be pretty happy as well. Um, I want to make the goals realistic, I don't want them to be too drastic, so I think 180 to that 15% is a pretty good goal. Um, I started off this year at 207 and 207 pounds, and my body fat was 26%. And I know this because I did the hydro dunk, the hydro testing, right? Got dunked in some water. Uh, they weighed me out. They even I even did a breathing thing where they uh, measured out my my base. I think it's called basal metabolic rate. So it's pretty accurate in that lean body mass was 152. I have 54 pounds of body fat, Ugh, you know, but that's in January. So now it's April. Stats are 195 pounds, 23% body fat. So I'm a little bit there. Maybe, maybe by June, if I hit 185, you know, I lose 10 more pounds and I hit like 18 or 19% body fat, I'll be pretty happy. I just gotta lose that belly. There's so much fat in that belly. I gotta get rid of it. You know, um, as far as lifting wise is concerned, <clears throat> going through the strong lifts uh, worksheet, squats. I should be by, by the time I hit 12 weeks, 
I should be at 325 for squats. Overhead press should be 160. Bench should be 205. Uh, Penley rows should be 195. And the deadlifts should be 300. So squats is concerned. I think that's pretty decent. I've never lifted over 300 pounds on a squat before. Never tried. I think the highest I've ever gone was 275. Uh, deadlifts, I want to just do 315. I want to hammer out five sets of five on 315. Maybe, I probably won't be able to. Maybe it might be two or three sets. I'm being hopeful. Bench, I, I, I would rather see 225 instead of 205. Um, we'll just get it there to two plates. But, you know, I'll, I'll know as I go along with, this, with these workouts. Uh, row and um, overhead press, I think I'm, I'll be pretty satisfied with 160, 195 especially for overhead press. I, I, I'd be amazed once I hit 135 on overhead press. So I'll be working on that. Um, afterwards, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. You know, I, I've, been, I've been thinking about what to do after I, I'm done with strongness. I might just keep going with it, you know, until I start plateauing, like, significantly. But there's also the possibilities of doing, I mean, I, I was looking up Wendler 531. There, there's a whole bunch of podcasts and stuff like that that are available for that. Uh, there's also Mad Cow. I know that's the eventual. That's like what Strong List Five by Five Part Two. Uh, I know Mad Cow is the. It's based off of the Texas method, so a lot of it is similar. Um, there's also Ice Cream Fitness Five by Five. And that that one sounds interesting, but it just sounds like I'll be in in the gym for like another hour and a half, two hours. And if I'm gonna be at the gym that long, I might as well just go back to bro splits. And maybe that's what I might do. If I hit 15% and then I start seeing like aesthetics in my body for once, then maybe I'll do that, but we'll see. Anyway, I got into this about two years ago, right? Um, I think 2013, I hit 30. I wanted to change some stuff in my life. So I decided to start really working out. I started lifting, right? Before that, I would just do cardio. I would do P90X, Insanity. I did a full run of, of P90X. I dropped 10 pounds. I looked pretty good, but you know, it, it, it wasn't enough, right? There's always plenty of stuff that I can work on. And I think during those times I was like at anywhere between 28 to 30% body fat still. So I had a lot of work to do. Um, I decided to change it up and start lifting. Um, the way that I found out a lot of the stuff that I do for lifting is watch the whole bunch of YouTube. So I learned a lot off of YouTube and it just, you know, figure it out. I copy the form, copy the moves. I read up on stuff. Never really been formally trained. I did meet up with a trainer, but he taught me a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't want to learn. <laughs> and uh, I did get some training in high school, but the guy that, that taught me, I, don't, I didn't really trust how he taught me. It just seemed like he read a book and then just, you know, regurgitated whatever he, whatever he learned the night before. So wasn't too keen on that. But I do learn a lot off of YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube personalities that I follow and they give a lot of good tips on how to do this stuff. So that's where I'm at. And that's, you know, the goals. I think 180 at 15% is pretty decent. I'll never, I've never been that weight since like grade school. That'll be pretty awesome to hit that this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. The next hydro testing that I'll be taking is in May. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm getting pretty aggressive with the dieting to really drop the weight. And, uh, and yeah, so that, that's it for day 11. Thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment up your feedback. Send me some plur vibes if you're down and you feel that. And I'll see you in the next episode when I get back into rec mode. Thank you.